する That's road. Trained, Labradors can guide the blind safely across the road. Untrained, these two are an accident waiting to happen. Taking the dogs for a walk is worse than a nightmare. They both very, very strong dogs of in excess of seven stones each, and they're very, very difficult to pull back. Really dangerous near the road. I'm really frightened that one of them's going to get seriously hurt. You're right, Angela. No, but, right, I've got a bag back anyway. But that is just um, without any distractions. So you can imagine if you see another. She can't do her housework. They're a danger to baby Ellie. No red, red off. No. And walking them is a health hazard. Boys! But they're even harder to control when they get a sniff of another dog. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> and with husband Chris home late from work, the last thing he's going to do is walk these hectic hounds. Walking your dog is supposed to be an enjoyment, but it's not at all. The strength of these dogs, they're so, so strong. They both pull like demons. They've towed me across fields. They've dragged me through gardens. They've just, I cannot hold the dogs. I just can't hold them. If they see another dog, we can't cope with the situation. And there's nothing Molly and Alfie like more than taking their owners for a walk. I can't take them out and exercise them properly. It's just such a trauma to do that. Whoa! <laughs> to them, it's fun. It must be fun. Yeah, but oh, they do it they like, and we're just following them, really. But, you know, it's just something to get over and done with as fast as you can. <laughs> it's only the canter, and I'm already knackered. <laughs> now that she's seen them in action in the house, Victoria takes dogs and owners out for a nice stroll in the countryside. Or maybe not. Girls! Come on! Victoria sees firsthand what daily walks are like for Zoe. With Paul standing back, Victoria decides to step in. That's what it's like every time I try and come in a field like this or... Right. But you do walk them by yourself in the, in the uh, morning, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I can see why Zoe's having problems walking these dogs. <laughs> They've got so much pent-up energy, they just want to run. Chris is taking them out for the first time in eight weeks. It's hard enough for him, but he needs to realise how dangerous it would be for Claire with a baby in tow, which is why we've had to replace Ellie with a stump baby. Just the nose, <laughs> There is no way that you could walk three dogs and a baby. It would... Thank goodness we're using a baby doll for this. That's hurt my hands. They're too strong. That's shocking, isn't it? Yeah. And the straining on the lead increases tenfold when there are any other dogs in the vicinity. so exciting. I don't think they're being aggressive towards other dogs. I just don't think they can believe they're actually seeing another dog. No, Tony! Right. Tony! Tony, you Tony! Tony, you stop it! Right. Good boy. OK. OK. Wait! 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 <coughs> Wait. Stay. OK. No, Tony! Stay! You all right? Yeah. Tony! To avoid the risk of crossing paths with other dogs, they've arranged to use an enclosed field. The dogs must can't be off the lead if there's ever a dog. It doesn't matter what's there. I don't care whether it's a six-foot hedge, they're going to go through it. But having double-checked the fencing, Mark's still feeling jumpy. 
Ben, can you just check to see if the electric fence is turned on, please? Now, on this side, Ben, there's a switch. Stress 101. No, Smarty! <laughs> ah. Smarty! Oh. Fence! Are you OK? Oh, yeah. Oh. You got your walkie-talkie? Yeah. OK. So what is... Why do you have walkie-talkies? For security. If we can't see each other because of woods, bushes, fences, fields, ditches, we communicate through walkie-talkies. Right. You're on Channel 1, Joe. I'm on Channel, channel 1. one. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, Ben, do me a favour. Can you protect that gate there, please? And if you see us in trouble, just go whatever way we're in trouble with to help us. All right? OK, secure the gate, then. Secure the gates? Ben, are you secure? I'm getting frostbite. Can we hurry up? Walkie-talkies? Go! Ah! Yeah. No, no, they're going over towards the gate. Stop. Watch him go! They're coming your way, go to the left. Go to the left. They're coming down by the go. gate. Stop them, head them off. Harry! 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 Panic! It's panic. Ben, cover the gate! Come on, can you get him? Tony! Marty, stay! Cover the Marty. gate! Marty! No! Harry! <laughs> With over 30 stone of Great Dane to hold on to, visits to the local shops have become fraught with fear and embarrassment. Stop it! Sorry. Danger on the right, Julie. Potential danger coming up, which is a trolley on wheels. Bicycles, cement mixers, and postmen on bikes. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, there you are, there you go. There's two kids there, look. There's two children there. Dylan! Dylan! He's only a puppy. God, he's unbearable. Stop that! Hey, 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 hey! Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no. Come on. That's why we can't go shopping. We just cannot bring them out. It's just awful. No, Harvey! Harvey! Get off! Who's walking whom? Stop! I can't... I can't go much further with him now. For you. Your hands are red, I can see that. <laughs> and he is a very strong dog. If he got any faster, he'd just run. And he'd I, just I'm run. frightened, I just can't keep up with him. No, he'd, he would pull you over. Walking Harvey is clearly a stressful event for Jane, which gets even worse around other dogs. I'm not going... There's a dog down there. There's a dog down there. No, okay. I'm, not, I'm not going down there. OK, all right. This team... <laughs> Outside, Victoria's about to see firsthand why these dogs only get a few hours walk a week. Whoa, 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 come here. Come here, wow. come here. He's very strong, isn't he? Yeah, strong isn't the word, Victoria. Come here. This isn't a walk, is it? It's a drag. Yeah, it's a drag. With their dogs so out of control, Linda and Caesar are too scared to ever let them off the lead. It's no wonder that these dogs aren't walked because it's just not pleasurable. Caesar and Linda have no control over them, and it's not the dog's fault, it really is their fault. Over. Over. Mark, hang on. Hang on. Just hang on. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> There's going to be problems. Um... Be a dead dog. Steady, <laughs> Mark, hold it! Smarty! If you got him, Mark, get him! Please hold him, please! No! Despite being in observation mode, Victoria feels compelled to take charge. Let's walk right now. Come okay, on, let's come on, quickly. Come on. Quickly. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Come let's on. Get him out of that. 